So, the controversial Senator Dino Melaye, or Melaye, <laughs> who represents the Kogi West constituency, recently launched a 600-page book entitled Antidote for Corruption, hmm. the Nigerian story. The book launch caused a frenzy on social media as Nigerians criticized those in attendance. By former First Lady pa pa sorry, Patience Jonathan, <laughs> Senate <laughs> President Bukola Saraki, Speaker of the House of Reps Yakubu Dugara, and a few others uh, were there. Now, many said the launch made a mockery of the anti-corruption fight and as anti-graft agencies were not present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 70 8066 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Mm. So who wants to go first on this Thank matter? Thank you, Senator Ajeku Yanyoje. That um, Senator who went to school and forgot to take his certificate and Ew. he ran for House of Reps. He left House of Reps. He moved to National Assembly and he had not collect, collected the certificate and because of issues surrounding one person's certificate, the VC of a university was summoned him. to the National Assembly to come and present only one person's certificate oh. in All this Nigeria. was to establish? No, I just want to establish the person that wrote the book. Mm. So I the same the senator is the popular one that has plenty of cars mm. on social media, mm. but is not known to have an industry. Mm. He's not known to have a factory somewhere, hmm. but you know, he's a rich man, right. and we are all aspiring to be like, oh, we'll check we ya. If we don't je. become like if him. If we don't become like him. <laughs> right. Now wrote a book on anti-corruption, hmm. and I am wondering, EFCC, <laughs> they did not come. I see Every ICPC, they did not come. But Nigeria the chief launcher was the former first lady who has Issues of uh, about how many billion five, dollars? Over five that you million know, they are dollars. removing the injunction and putting it back mm -hmm. over and over. I don't know what is wrong with the justice system. On the panel, the Senate President, Ugara. who allegations on would you bring? Allegations, you know, we don't seem to be but getting. But the, the trial is taking forever. Saraki, the Senate so the uh, Saraki. Saraki was okay. there. Yeah, then Has Dugara. issues of uh, you know to answer with the Court of Conduct Tribunal. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, Dogara. Dogara was there for now. We don't have any issues. But they're padding. But what they're padding? padding. You bring, now, it's an allegation. She's a lawyer. She's a okay. lawyer. For now, we don't she's have any issues. No case she's against him. Okay. Yeah. But you know, he seems to be the saint among them. Right. And all of them gathered. To wait, wait, wait. Let me help you finish okay. with. Also present uh, were Gali Naba. You remember him? Uh, yes. A former speaker of the House of Assembly. I am Pius. I am a former secretary to the government of the Federal Republic. Idris Waba, a former Kogi State Governor. Atehiru Bafarawa, a former Sokoto State Governor. And several other senators. Majorly under investigations by the One EFCC the are all of them. Mm. And you know, now they gathered somewhere to tell us that you know they have the antidote for corruption mm. in this country. The average Nigerian will be thinking, okay. What solution exactly? Mm. Senator Olubukara Saraki said at that um, conference that the EFCC seemed to be doing everything possible to justify the legislature that put it into creation. Mm. Because suddenly now they are doing a lot of media Trial. trials, instead fighting corruption in, on a surface rather yes. than, you know, fighting. That, that statement can, you know, be said to be true because we don't have enough convictions right. like we would expect. May I, what? may I quickly quote him before you go ahead? Thank you. Saraki said in a speech that the trial for corruption at the Code of Conduct tri Tribunal for false declaration of assets described the sens sensationalization mm -hmm. of corruption fights as unnecessary and counterproductive. Right. Please go ahead. Now, let, 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 let's, let's go to what uh, um, Saraki said because for me, I found some truth, some, truth, some sense in what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Although um, um, Sage has come to response to that but i think the crux of what Sharaki was trying to say is that listen for every corruption investigation mm. you need proper thorough forensic analysis investigation which unfortunately we don't have the capacity mm. as of as we are as our system mm. is so, because we have very weak systems so we don't have the capacity to carry it out so what you do is you come to show that you're working you have this media trial and at the end of the day the case get thrown out 
in very the courts. True. And very which is valid. True. He mentioned that, um, I'm quoting them, right. mm -hmm. he, he advocated the need to prioritize deterrence mm. rather than punishment in order to permanently win the ah. ongoing war. But is that counterproductive? No, but we, you see, when he, <clears throat> I, 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 felt, I felt a little bit weird that a Saraki should be the one speaking mm. against the Code of Conduct Bureau's model of prosecuting a case... A, Cases when he has a case to right. answer for yes. there, whose lawyer has been pushing for injunction rather than address whether he's guilty or not, just keeps evading right. the issues. <laughs> I've watched when it was public, um, public hearing was allowed. I was watching and I kept saying, Why can't he just address? Did this guy do it or not? Why do you keep trying to evade it mm. over and over again? Mm. I don't think he's in the right position. So, whatever he says will be taken with a pinch of salt, right? However, we must realize that the EFCC needs to understand that until they are able to ensure that before they make cases or make prosecution on social media, they have enough evidence to prosecute totally so okay. that we don't have cases of right. issues being thrown out okay. over and over again. Uh, Dogara yeah. also mentioned, which I want to quote, that okay. there will be a lot of criticism. He said that on, on um, he said, Dino himself is a combination of so many things. Yeah. Many things. He is highly opinionated often pugnacious obviously it will be a magnet for opinionated criticism okay. as well it will not escape it so okay. they know that these things are going to happen okay hang nigeria here. has reacted you have a call yes Wale, well, are you there thanks for calling yeah i'm there good morning uh, morning everybody. go ahead please yeah i'm a first time caller of your program welcome to the show, to the show. i'm calling from kadena i appreciate what you people are doing over thank there. you so much and i want to pray that god will strengthen you people in the amen amen ah uh, Coming to Milayes uh, uh, anti uh, corruption, whatever, whatever. Right. I don't know. The grammar is not even correct in the first place. I don't know who edited the book for him. Is it an uh, antidote for corruption or antidote to corruption? I'm, I'm confused somewhere. You're not talking about that one, it's always confusing. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Wally. <laughs> Thanks for okay, coming. Let me quickly, let me go, quickly add this go. issue yeah. issue of transparency mm -hmm. concerning the personality of Dino Milaye was raised by a senator, the former majority leader, Senator uh, Alimo, um, Undume. Yes. And when he said, let's have a hearing to clear these issues of the car of the Senate president and the certificate of Dino Melaye, he was suspended. Yes. Yes. If these people do not respect transparent Aha. government and they are writing a book. Very good question. Okay, so yes. before I say my own opinion, Nigerians reacted on Twitter. Abiodu AA says, it takes a thief to track another thief. Um, the presence of Mama Peace and Bukola Saraki speaks volume. Corruption united. Daniel nice. Akilami said, what a nation where the likes of Dino Malayu can go further to insult our intelligence by writing a book on how to fight corruption. Ibrahim Kuzo says, launching a book on corruption battle and not inviting EFC, e EFCC, are they really serious? And last one, True Conscious says, corruption is the real name of this country called Nigeria. Dino Malayu wrote a book on corruption and the characters in the book came out to launch it right <laughs> so your opinion so my opinion is this um i agree that to fight corruption um prevention is better than cure deterrence better than punishment because mm. it has become like a culture where we are even the ones driving the political leaders there when you see them anything for the boys anything right. for the girls yes, but we must also punish as a deterrence Right. So if I catch somebody, I don't say eh, everybody else is doing it. Uh, I, I, I've not caught Moriah. Why are you jailing Jumoke? Yeah, right. You must show that we're serious exactly. to deter other people. Let me take this call from Olamide. Are you there? Thanks for calling. Hello, good morning. Morning. Go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Welcome to the show. I'm enjoying your program. And I'm enjoying you can't hear you very well. Go ahead. Uh, Sorry. Yes, stop. I want to quickly um, pass on a message because we're running out of time to EFCC. This kind of things would happen. A Bukola Saraki Senate president would boldly say that it is media trial because mm. it is true. They don't have if evidence. they are successfully prosecuted, this media trials to conviction. Have an airtight. Mm. If if the CCT, if the CCB has been able to successfully prosecute the Bukola Saraki himself, mm. he then he won't be able to speak like this because there was, there was obvious evidence, but they've been able to boycott the law. We must, as a, if a country is serious, serious about fighting corruption, we must ensure that the fight must start from the head and we must mm. see people's heads roll right. from there. Let me take Marvelous. Marvelous, are you there? Hello, good morning, Marvelous. Good morning, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. 
Why are you to me? I feel that this country we take things like as if it's a joke or this thing. How can uh, Dino Melai write a book about uh -uh. this corruption? We know his state Kogina, we know what he's doing there. He has done no constructive project there. He's not even Saki, Saki that has been in court that is telling his lawyer to postpone the case rather than address it. Even went as far as the vice CCT chairman to hey. come and face them. Mm. What kind of country do we even want? Everything they don't take everything. I'm, I'm, I'm still looking tired. Let me just, I'm tired of this thing. <laughs> All right, thank you very uh, much. One advice for EFCC. Um, Dino Melai has several cars. Ah. They should just have started their investigation from there. That when did you buy the cars? What job were you do doing? You, where are the settings? No industry, no <laughs> When you have that kind of airtight investigation, right. then even if they don't invite you to the book launch, you show up there. Hmm. You know, <laughs> and maybe pick a few people. They said when Mama Peace came, they were shouting, Mama Peace. She interrupted the gathering for a few minutes. Let me quickly take it's tweets from, this, from yeah. people this morning okay. mary says lima your introduction of melaya is superb i'm rolling on the floor with laughter <laughs> so it's not funny mrs ogudo says it was a gathering deliberately including mrs jonathan to mock pmb's anti-corruption war See? stay tuned your view will be right back Management team, EM team have commenced a review of the 2017 budget since it was passed by the National Assembly last week. To enlighten us more on this topic is the former chairman of the National Economic Summit Group, Mazi Sam Ohuabomwa. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. You can call us on 070 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. So this budget hmm. increased from 7.2 to 7.4. Let's watch your general view on the, is, it, is this workable to take us out of our recession right now? Is it a budget of recovery? Yes. Is it hmm. budget, is it I, recovery? I, I agree that it's a budget that is uh, bullish. Um, hmm. And if there is a faithful implementation, hmm. uh, it will help the recovery. There's no gain saying that fact because a, a budget where we're not just waiting for the four point nine million, nine trillion uh, 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 naira the government will get as revenue, yeah. but it's going to borrow uh, about two point three six uh, trillion mm. uh, to spend, yeah. so that we can fire the economy. Mm. So I think that from the public sector side of the uh, of the equation, uh, that 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 looks uh, uh, very reasonable. Uh, of course, some people will think we should do more. Some people will think we should do less. But I think it's in the right direction. Okay. Uh, however, I would like to quickly add that uh, that is one side of the Story. equation. Okay. There is another side. That's the public side, the, pub right. the private sector side. Mm -hmm. That is the main size of the economy. You know, and that is the area we need to work on to be able to get a proper balance. If right. we don't get that private sector balance, the public sector can spend the seven or eight trillion and not much mm. will happen. So we need, we need to work on that. It's a critical segment. Okay. Of course, there, are, there are still issues with this budget, but answering your question, I think is the budget is in the right direction. Okay, I have several issues. Mm -hmm. The first one is <coughs> last year, yeah. we said that the budget was 40% um, what's the right word that they use? Meaning that um, it functioned to 40% of its capacity it w implemented. That's the right word. Mm -hmm. Now, um, last year's budget, we criticized that they were going to do a lot of borrowing. And we had a huge debt profile that we were going to be maintaining. The same thing is happening this year. So you, you have income of about $5 trillion. You're not thinking about saving any. You're thinking of borrowing. Yeah. so that you can spend about 2.6 trillion in on, infra, on infrastructure mm -hmm. but there's a recurrent bill of 2.6 no 2.1 on infrastructure 2.6 trillion on just paying bills does that make any kind of sense if it does please explain it well uh if we were to start today you say it doesn't make sense but because we continue uh it therefore becomes reasonable because if there are commitments made yesterday. Mm. Today's government must um, keep Add it. Here. Yeah, but if you ask today, should we go and start taking 
uh, you know, those commitments, we may say no. Uh, but the critical thing is this, that there are those who think we should live within our means. Mm. That is, we raise, we generate five billion, five trillion, we spend five trillion. Whether yes. it pushes us <laughs> into growth or into decline, it doesn't matter. But I don't think that is the right thing for okay. my own thinking, okay. and I believe the thinking of this government. We need debt to fire the economy, to get investments in the capital, okay. uh, because that's what creates um, the vicious circle, mm. uh, a virtuous circle that generates jobs, wealth, and drives Easy poverty. Right. Mm. Uh, but I agree that people are also uh, worried that we are, you know, itching up our debt profile right. because we're going to be spending about 1.66 uh, trillion servicing. P servicing debt. Yes, That's almost 36 uh, uh, percent of, 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 of income, yeah, of revenue, and and and, and that's high. Right. But then, like I said, uh, it's a matter of making choices. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm of the opinion that for us to observe change yeah. in our country's economy, we need to do something drastic. Sure. Um, my layman understanding of what I've seen of the budget breakdown doesn't look like anything drastic from what we had before. Yeah. Mm. And the expenses from our assembly doesn't look like it's going to take us, um, there, there's nothing drastic on their part to sacrifice for us to in, um, have proper infrastructure, um, development, investment in the right areas that can take us out of recession. Mm. What's your opinion? Am I just being paranoid or not expecting much from this budget or do you think that I'm... Well, again, uh, you have a point. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, if we need to be more aggressive than you are, then the, the level of borrowing will be higher, much mm. higher, mm. Uh, uh, because what needs to be done is extraordinary. I mean, can you imagine in 2017, um, a significant part of portion of Nigerians can't even assess ordinary pipe bone water. Mm. A significant, even where people in night, I grew up in the 60s, where we lived there was pipe bone water, it turned the tap in Port Harcourt, in Enugu. But today you can't find water. Everybody's doing borehole. Mm -hmm. So there is so much to be done, truly. And, and, and we're not blaming <coughs> any one single person. It is something that this nation has done to itself over the genre of leaders, right. military and civilian. civilian. Uh, yeah. But I think that what it is now is that we are inching up uh, as much as we can. And that's what I said, if you remember my point, that this public sector budget would take us just mm -hmm. this far. If, 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 if the government is putting out 7.44 trillion, mm -hmm. I think the private sector should be doing three or four times that. Yes. So what do we say? We want to build this rail line. Yeah. And that's what exactly, you also look at it. If you want to build a rail line, like the Lagos, kind uh, new, standard gauge. Mm -hmm. You know, government in the budget has only about 30% of the cost. The 70% is coming from China Exim Bank, yes. which is, is, not, is not captured, captured in that only is captured in the debt repayments, right. in the interest payment. So there is more to the budget than just what you see. Okay. There is the bilateral, there is uh, multilateral, there is the private sector. Okay. We need to work on these areas. We need to create the environment so that this investment will come. Government expenditure can go far. Okay, okay sir, the uh, vice president would be looking, receiving that budget today to be signed into law. Yeah. And the amount of 7.28 was increased by the National Assembly to 7.44 trillion. Mm -hmm. Yes. In view of that and in view of budget pardon, should the vice president be scrutinizing this budget very well delay. before we signing, which might delay you know the signing as well. Well, I, I think we are making, um, uh, what do they call it, making a, 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 a mountain out of a moor mm. hill. The budget pot binding concept um, is, uh, is a misnomer. Okay. The truth of the matter is that the National Assembly has the appropriation power. Mm. That is what the Constitution has given to yeah, them. Yeah. The, private, the executive will make proposals. Mm. The, uh, National Assembly will appropriate. Yeah. 
And that's why they call ministries and agencies to come and defend. Mm. If they find that there is not enough to achieve a particular purpose, they, they have to, to add some more. Okay. And, and, and every budget everywhere in the world, right. in the US, in the UK, the appropriation is with the National Assembly right. or with the Congress. And I think that, you see, the thing about budget is that budget is a statement of intention. Mm. That is why you have never seen any budget that will achieve 100%. Mm. So the issue is not what is there, it's when we begin to dispense the funding, how do, does the money come, the revenue, mm. borrowed money mm. takes time to come and then invest it. The good thing I think they've done in this budget is that they have specified that this budget will have a 12 month span, anytime it's signed. Mm. So that gives me hope that it's going to be probably better. Right. Uh, that, yeah. And finally, if, going by the previous discussions you've had, if we set the proper, which is uh, with due regards to whatever anybody is saying, if you put the proper process mm. of, fe a National Assembly does not hold a purse. Mm. Mm. They don't disburse money to anybody. Mm. Who holds the purse mm. is, the, is the minister of, and there is a procedure for dispensing money. There's a procedure for accounting for it. And if we have a system where you have EFCC, ICPC, uh, everybody, if somebody Doing has done the wrong thing, right. why are we making theories? Hmm. We, should, we should hold the person responsible. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what National Assembly puts in the budget, what, the if it is not properly applied, yeah. we will put the law, the people be, res be held responsible. Simple. So for Minister, so for National Assembly, so for MDA, yeah, everybody. Okay. All right, so we, 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 we cry as if we are helpless, as if we don't have Lost. institutions that can maintain. Right. I think it's a failure on behalf of all of us and our institutions. That simple things, a man commits a crime, and we're here at your rising. Did he commit the crime? Did he not, not commit the crime? crime? And passing right, we have judgment. To we have to take a break. Yeah. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation. We'll take your tweets and phone calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. So, going back to how this budget affects the man on the streets, because on social media, everybody is going crazy on a uh, budget for transportation, for food, for allowances, all those for things national for national assembly. assembly. People are really crazy about that one. Uh, that is that one twenty-five billion yes. for national assembly. In your own view, sir, do you think today we should have, we should continually have that bicameralism system, where we have to do the Senate and the House of Reps? Do you think we should, in the sacrifice, going back to the sacrifice that Tokwe said earlier, at this juncture where people are talking for restructuring through federalism, should we have a total restructure where we reduce the cost of governance such oh. that we don't have to allocate a whole one twenty-five billion for these people who are supposed to be making laws, hmm. not constitution projects? Do you, do you agree with that? I mean, well, I, I think that the truth of the matter is that I have written a book I called it Nigeria: Time for the Evolution of a New Nation. And one of my prescriptions is that the cost of governance is blue joining and it's eating up our, our we're, we're eating our seed instead, mm. of, instead of replanting it. And that's what, are, what, what the consequence that we're seeing. I agree that we need to look at the governance. I mean, can you imagine that less than one million people who work in the government agencies consume 60, 70 percent of our budget? Everything. Mm -hmm. And only 30% is left for capital that imagine. benefits the rest of us. That is a travesty, it's a misnomer. Mm -hmm. But that is because this thing has been exactly. built over time. It's constitutionally provided. Mm -hmm. I've written that every new agency, every new law, the uh, legislature, both in this federal and, and state, they set up, they put an agency behind it. Mm -hmm. they, put, they put an administrative structure. infrastructure. And you are creating, we talked about merging. In exactly. my book, I say we shouldn't have more than 18 ministries, hmm. maximum of 18 ministries. In fact, when I saw exactly. Mr. President do uh, power roads Housing. and housing, I say he was working according hmm. to, I said there should be a minister of infrastructure. Sick, sick, sick enough. Then you take all the other, you know, and, and you, you have, you know. so we should reduce right. cost. cost 
I have also believed that even if we have bicameral, some can be on part time, right. part time basis, so that people go do their work, uh. contribute to the economy, and then sit. Uh, two or three times, which is what they month. do anyway. Yeah. Let me pause so you for a Let me take Wale and I come to you. Okay, Wale, are you still there? Thanks for calling. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Mario. Go ahead, please. Morning, Jim. Okay, I just want to talk about this idea like when you are still Right. <laughs> I love what Ope said. Ask me where I still work in his life <laughs> that he got all those cars that he displayed. <laughs> This senator have made this country a caricature. Right. Sarati is still making some family to be crying to today. Mm. About the bank. He finished Society General mm -hmm. Bank. He finished Panama Paper. His name is Yes. My mama's money did it. He the man in the custom right. over the importation of cars. Right. And this is a man that is our Senate president. Ha. This is the man that will say that corruption at the highest level. level. Thanks very much, much Wale. We have to pause it right there. Thank you so much, Wale. Yes, so, Jumaki had a question. Um, when they say that the budget is budget of recovery, for instance, the amount of recurring for the health and education ministries, that you're just paying people's salaries. Meanwhile, you've budgeted 50, the, the federal government said 50 billion for education. The, mm. the National Assembly increased it to 55. Um, they said 51 billion for health. That was increased to 56. What do we as a people need to do? Where you're paying people 300 billion mm. to oh, do sorry. work of 50 billion. <laughs> so, um, I know that they are not going to think of it as a solution because their own children are schooling abroad. Mm. When they have headache, they fly abroad. Ah. But what do the Nigerian populace need to change the tide? Well, I, I, I believe that there are issues here. First, that every government at every given time must prioritize. Yes. There's never enough resources. Okay. So two things are happening to us. First is that we need infrastructure. Right. Yes. Because we need it not only to cause an ease of doing business mm -hmm. and make our products more competitive, it's also an opportunity to attract investment. Yes. Now when you look at health and education, it looks that the budget is low. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. But part of the reason is that there's a lot of aid which is not captured in the budget. Mm. Uh, Western countries. Oh, yeah, they are aiding us, uh, World Bank, USAID, uh, US uh, Melinda Gates. Uh -huh. They come into WHO. health in all this international. They're helping it. So that's, they cover it up. Right. Otherwise, the money they are putting there is paltry. Mm. It, it, it can't solve any problem. But I believe that every, every country goes through a circle. When we go through past where we're now trying to get our infrastructure mm. and the basic things, we now begin to look at quality of life. Uh -huh. That's why in the U.S., healthcare is the trouble. Mm. They can drive a, gov a president or elect new one on healthcare. Okay. On yes. So it is evolution. We'll right. get to that point. You I'm know, angry. When, infrastructure when we, first. When we deal with infrastructure, first. they will come to quality do. of life. Gotcha. You know, but okay. yeah, health Everything is so important. It's an emergency. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 But how would you get to, do, to the hospital if yes. the road is bad? No so that infrastructure is really key. Yeah. But let me it take this call very quickly from, I think, Suleiman. Are you still there? We need Suleiman? to stop them from traveling Sorry out. Sorry for keeping you. He's out. Yeah. We need to stop yes. them from traveling okay. out. Okay. Right. Yeah. The National Assembly yeah. recently reopened, reopened their budget. So we have details of all the breakdown. Yeah. And you'll be surprised that priority is given to photocopiers as against health. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, traveling all around international and locally. Refreshment. 407 million naira. Refreshment. Mm. 407 million naira. So cars, 7.7 billion. Insurance of cars, 1.7 billion. And they just bought cars in 2016, but there's, they are a, there's, a, there's a budget. It goes back to the sacrifice you talked to, about. They are not sacrificing. Exactly. Who is sacrificing? There's still a budget for cars again in 2017. So you, we, we wonder who, who, who should prioritize and whether there's sincerity in this in this whole issue of um, uh, 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 no of of you know Covenant. Nigerians so sacrificing for a better future, I, I believe that we all can do better. Uh, the National Assembly, the executive, the private sector, the media, everybody. Um, you see, it, it's when you get to know. There are people who are outside here who do not know what you guys go through here, yes. and they can make comments. Yes. The National Assembly is being vilified sometimes a little bit more than they ought to. Mm. Because they signify, it's the cost of democracy. Mm. It's either we want democracy, we, if we don't want, we take them away. The way, uh, the, no, the way the military people, they yeah. didn't have a legislature, yes. so they can, somebody can come and make law today right. and it becomes, a uh, few people will sit together and they do. You see, the cost of freedom, mm. you can't see it, right. but when you take it away, 
you begin to know. Mm. Yeah, I think the National Assembly can do better to improve its, like Knight published his accounts, which had been an issue. Yes, I, I thought the account was one trillion, but only one something billion. One billion. For me, it demystified all the issue. And if you look at the allocation to the different subheads, you, you know, you find that it's not as much as we thought. So lack of transparency was right. an issue. If they become more transparent, Nigerians will understand that exactly. they, 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 we need the uh, legislature because they bring balance. Yes. You know, otherwise, the executive will go off his track. Yeah. The judiciary yeah. can do what they like, mm. but without the balancing right. of the legislature, right. all That's we need to do is that it can be less expensive yeah. Yeah. by like doing, the, doing it part-time. Right. That way, we, we Let us we have to round up. Let's take a few tweets. Can we, can we well, no tweets? Yeah, oh, um, thank you so much. I think that's how we start round up. It goes so fast. We're learning so much <laughs> from you. Mm. Thank you very much for being here, sir. A pleasure. That's all we can take on the show today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget, you can watch a repeat at 9 p.m. And also, the Ebola, not Ebola. Yeah, it's Ebola, right. Yeah. Uh, Democratic Republic of Congo uh, found out that um, there was at least four cases of um, uh, people who died of Ebola. So please be careful. I know the ports and the um, the airports have been really, really they've been screening everybody. But at the same time, if you know the anybody sanitizer, came back from Congo. always use it and be careful. All right. That's all we can take. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.